No shortage of work? Shortage on time. And we're going overlanding. All right, guys, I need you to go and vote on the Onyx. We're gonna win this thing with your help. So uh, go on there, vote. This is probably the last video that you can be able to vote and it still matters. So jump on, vote. Let's see if we can for sure win this thing. Also, we're gonna be at SEMA this week if you guys wanna stop by and check the Willys out, check all the other Onyx off-road builds out. They will be in the Onyx booth, it's outdoor. So you won't need a badge to get in to see it. But we'll be there Friday, November 8th. They're gonna announce the winner of this whole situation around noon. So if you guys are around Las Vegas, wanna come say hey, we'll be there. You can come check them out all week long though. So we're gonna be there from a little before 11 till whenever we leave, depending on how many of you guys show up, wanna say hi to us. So we'll see you there. All right, it's morning. Back on the Onyx truck, pack rat. I gotta get this thing done. I leave in a few days to go and uh, we gotta get it handled. So on the to-do list, we've uh, we made a list. Priorities, skid plates today. I need fuel tank skid plate and boat side skid plates done today. So we'll crack them out and see what we can get handled. All righty, let me walk you through kind of what I'm thinking here. So two inch flat strap down the frame, right here, both sides. Then we're gonna take quarter inch plate bend it to fit this come up along here uh it'll bolt to here as well so should be pretty straightforward we got a lot of bending to do we got to try and reverse these dimple dies the other way if we can't they're gonna get cut off and fixed both sides this whole thing we're gonna tie in from bottom of here to the bottom of the frame. We're gonna have to trim these a little bit to make everything happy, but we can do that. And uh, should come clear up to here, wrap in. I think it's gonna look good with both sides on it. We'll dimple dye the whole thing and then rattle can it for SEMA. So should be pretty good. Got a lot of work ahead of us today, but I think skid plates will be done today. Then onto a spare tire carrier. All right, we're into the process, building skid plates. Tom's gonna clean that hole up. We've got some of them dimple dyed. Coop is back here cutting the old one off. We decided we want the dimples going up. So he's cutting this old one off. We'll get it flipped over. I'm gonna start building skid plate mounts. got this plate pretty much welded in on two sides we're gonna lift it up bend it up into place right here tack it in and then I'll finish welding it in then we'll go ahead and cut the other side out we'll get that handled all right one is done that's what we want it to look like looks bad to the bone we'll get the other side cut off put in here Start up the side. All right, we're, uh, we're cutting the rest of the flyers out. This is a uh, 10 gauge material, which is plenty tough for the sides of this. So we're building the boat sides for it. We need a 44 by 13 by nine and a quarter. Gonna be kind of tapered, but should work out well. All right, we're getting closer. We got all the weld plazed off. Now we just gotta do a little cleanup, touch up work. And then we'll go ahead, flip that panel over, put it right back on and make it fit like we want it to. So it's turning out. It's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna suit up, we'll weld it okay. in.
That burned. Clear through. Still smoking. Went right through my pocket. Hit my knee. That was dumb. <laughs> right? What'd that take so long for? Jeez. We're designing a skid plate for the tank. We, we got lots of comments, people saying, this tank's terrible idea. It's gonna get popped and smashed and we know that. And it's not a terrible idea. This thing, Chad was getting like 16 miles to the gallon driving it down here in third gear at like 3,600 RPMs. So we figure with overdrive at 2,100 RPMs, this thing's gonna get 20 miles a gallon with 40 gallons. That's gonna give us a pretty long range in this rig, so. Tail's gonna be tired before you're out of gas. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop and pee before we <laughs> run out of gas. So we're gonna build a skid plate that this rig will basically set on and not hurt the gas tank. We're just gonna cut some flat plate, well, or bolt to the frame, and then go to building skid plates. So... You didn't see that happen. <laughs> All right, we're making a bend in this to match the contour of the frame. So throw it in here. Ooh, that was too much pumps. Look at that, that was the perfect stomp. I like it. We'll build one more of those and then we're good to go. Should be close. One more stomp. Was that the perfect one? It's the perfect one. Does it match that side? Those two perfect stomps. Gotta go Let's forward, see. like right there. So this, uh, yeah, yeah, should be all right. Cool. Now we just need to figure out where you want holes. I'll you, punch them. You tell me where you want them, and I'll make the frame match your your stuff. Because these are funky. They're well, I just don't want to punch a hole and then have it in the wrong spot. So you tell me where you'd like it. You mark it on there, and I'll. Punch them equally the same. This is cool. You want them in the center? Yeah, it's in our bottom. Now tell them if these holes don't line up, you're fired. <laughs> well, I don't know if he's hired. No, I don't have the power. I don't that, have the no, power. No, it's hard to it's hard to fire somebody guy that's really not hired. <laughs> we'll give her heck though, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am struggling here. It's way quicker than drilling, huh? Way quicker. Pretty impressive, honestly. That thing's awesome. Like, they're not identical, but they're pretty close. I shall make them work. All right. That's what we like to hear. What do you think, Tom? You want them to come up flush with this back bar? Yeah. Okay. I think we'll let Paul stay. <laughs> Did you hear that? I didn't hear it. Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> we decided you can keep running your own operation. Okay. I think technically Michelle's running this operation. <laughs> All right, things are happening. Hoops drilling frame holes. Tom's riveting. I'm just waiting to weld. We're getting closer. We'll have these parts in there and start chopping the other ones out shortly. All right, we've got the starts of the skid plate. Now we're gonna start uh, cutting some quarter inch flat plate. See if we can't get something built in here. That could look good today. Quarter inch, yeah, it'd be perfect. Be good. I like those numbers. 
four three eighths. Yep. Mm -hmm. Four and three eighths until the end of the tank. Okay, right there. Six and a quarter to there, right? Yeah. happier with that. That's all right. Now I chewed on your marker. You can have that back. I think this piece right here just needs a 90 on it and it'll roll down and Perfect. probably what we'll do is cut it straight. So we'll just weld the flat piece on here and a flat piece there and a flat piece there. Drill and bolt them just like we did this. Yep. And uh, we'll build two of those and then one big piece. There's two parts. That'll work. Perfect. Good job, Tom. Don't want anything right. Pretty dang close. A little bit of grind and they'll be identical. All right, much, much later. <laughs> but we're making progress. Sides, on, look at that. They're not like permanently on, they're just tacked in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and start making pieces. We don't have a big break, so we're building this in pieces as we go. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, so we didn't bore you with all the cutting out of the pieces, but we got all the pieces cut to go in this thing. We'll see if we can jigsaw puzzle it together real quick, make something out of what we cut and uh, Hopefully it looks aesthetically pleasing as well as being tough enough to do the job when we're done. That doesn't look ugly. It kind of looks like a cyber truck. <laughs> a little bit. It's got the shape. Yeah, it's like a cyber truck. Ooh. I hope we don't have to recharge it all the time. I better tack this together. And then, then we got her. We have got some stuff going down. <laughs> now I got that on there. Can you put pressure on the other one? Maybe. Maybe she'll give her a go. All right, we basically got that thing welded together. All right, we're unbolting this thing. I'll finish weld it, let it cool off, and we'll put it back in. And then we just got the sides to get done. It's getting late though. There she is, one piece. I'll go ahead and I'll flip it over and weld it all up and then I'll weld the inside of it. It'll be solid when we're done and hopefully it bolts right back into place. So a little time lap action of me welding away and then putting it in. Only about six hours late, but it's done. She is put together, welded. You could roast a hot dog on it currently, but it's done. All right, we've had enough for tonight. I'm getting some sleep. We'll come back at this early in the morning. Plus, this thing's hot. We're letting it cool off so we can paint the inside of it and then stuff it in. And then off to side, or uh, it's... Okay. Both sides. It's late. I couldn't even spit that out. So tomorrow. All right. It's morning. We're at it again. This thing cooled off last or all night last night. We put it back in this morning. It's ready for Jace to do some painting on it. I think it's going to do everything we needed to. So now we're on to the boat sides. I got to do a little trimming and then 
some dimple dies, and we go back to welding. I'll bet if I turn it on. <laughs> We're gonna need some power, ladies and if gentlemen. If I turn it on, she is gonna, gonna work better. Stinking gar cane won't even work if you don't turn it on. <laughs> You want to know how good you are? What? That was three minutes. Oh, wow. Cut out. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, you're catching on fire once. We'll see if it even fits. I know the guy that cut this out yesterday. Was he having a good day? I don't know. It's hard to tell. She's trying to decide which. That is the ticket. Straight side goes against slider. Probably going to have to put a notch around that. Bill. We will uh, go ahead and bolt this thing. Well, bolt it with the welder. <laughs> Weld it in place and then onto the other side. I don't know how we marked that, but it ain't in the right spot. Do we, we dimple dime backwards? I don't know. Because this needs to be way back here. We did it backwards, Tom. Do they mirror? So you could just slap that one on the other side? <laughs> That's an inch long. Yeah, this, this this goes back there. It's like this right here. You are right. <laughs> we talked about it too. Yeah, that fits right where it's supposed to, right there. <laughs> it's one of those days. Let's see what it looks like. Do it. We'll straighten it. That was our whole plan to get more of a ring. See that like ring right there? Uh, <laughs> I really want the ring, but we got it. Right up. That's still gonna look good. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Should we leave them half one way, half the other way? No. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, do we have to do the other side twice? So <laughs> just no. No, we don't. <laughs> All right. We've kept with the shop theme. We've done it twice, so let's go put it in. All right. That's where I want it to fit, is right, Touch the, it right there. In the crook. That's butted right to the square. Look at that. It's like you did something right for one. First time. First time for everything. Come on, Helmer. Just go right in the corner and push it up and I'll weld it. Does that look bad? Looks about like seam quality yeah, to like me. To push it right here. What do like, you think, Grandma? That looks nice. I would better say that, Grandma. Well, it looks like crap, but I think it'll survive. All right, one side's done. Now I gotta repeat it on the other side, so I like it. One is cut and ready to go get dimple dyed. That masterpiece. Well, it looks pretty good. Turn it over. That's a good looking side. I like that. Giant cheese grater, basically. Little plug for the hats. Get it fed, right? They get you one. You need to grind those corners.
pretty much the spot, I think. Tom has been working on something. Almost looks like you know what you're doing, Tom. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm making it up as I go. That's your height. <laughs> this side's coming together. Kind of painted. Beauty. There she is. I'll, I'll spend an hour now and we'll put it together. Meeting pine nuts. <laughs> Had an awesome viewer that sent me two bags of pine nuts. Thank you. I love those things. They're right up there with jerky. Deadly combination, by the way, jerky and pine nuts together. Cooper will find out what I mean in a minute. <laughs> We're welding these pieces in. Tom's been building them. And then we build a skid plate for the transfer case, and we got the underside done. All right, we are building the skid plate for under the transfer case currently. It's pretty straightforward and easy, just some quarter inch plate. It's gonna weld up to the cross member that's already under there with some square tube down the sides. Should be plenty tough. Do everything we need it to. You wanna give that a little shot. If a little's good, a lot's, lot's better. better. A lot's a lot better? A lot better. That's what I've heard. <laughs> All right. What's our number? Tell it bends straight. Hold on a second. This is my... That skid plate is tied into here. Transfer yeah. case skid plate. So. Into the red. 50. Dimple dive. Almost the steering one. Put oh. your finger in. Oh, that! If this explodes, <laughs> it's going straight through us. Not just one of us, but like all of us. Yeah, we, none of us be around to tell anybody what happened. Nope. They'd have to watch the GoPro footage to see. Start filming right here. Why is everybody dead? We're gonna set this underneath and see what it actually looks like here. It's gonna mound up something of that nature right there. I like it. It's gonna be good. Final piece going in under here. Quality right here. Only the best. I Let's think see we those got gloves. it. Fab rats. We'll get you some. So uh, these are some of the original ones. I got a couple holes in them now. I've been beating on them, grinding them. Pretty good quality for the price. All right. We had to take a break. We are running up to unload a flagpole for another project I got. But we're gonna show you guys. It's gonna be pretty awesome when we get it done, but let's go grab it. Does this guy have what we need? He says he does. Got it loaded. We got ourselves a genuine flagpole. One flagpole. Back to the shop. Top, the rope. All right, I guess. Let's see if we can make it work. All right. Tom's got all these things cut out. He's got a skin out of here today. So I'm going to weld it all up and get it put in and see if I can get this handled before he gets back. I got faith <laughs> in you. You're good. We'll get something done. Damn. We're close. I got to make sure that this clears right there. Oh yeah, that is the ticket. All right, skid plate installed. We can get the drain plug out still. I'm gonna weld this thing together. I'm sick of welding on this today, but I can't be done because we still got stuff to build. I got a couple more welds left on this thing and it's done, but it looks awesome under here. Skid plate, check. All right, we got all the rock sliders done all the skid plates on it. That's all we're gonna get done today though. We're running out of time. Tomorrow, we're gonna turn this thing into an overlander. Spare tire, overlanding rack, cooking utensils, stuff, all that kind of stuff, tomorrow. All right, it's morning. No shortage of stuff to get done today. Gotta have a spare tire carrier on the back of the willies today. So, I worked late last night. 
I got this kind of all mocked up. We got to do some some welding, some building structure. It's got to have overlander stuff in it. So we've got water jugs that go on the back of it, a propane bottle, little one that goes on. This is all stuff for the overlanding part of this build. JD, my neighbor JD, he's coming to help. We got some big drawer slides to build the box in the back here so things will slide in and out. We can get at them. With any luck, by the end of today, she's looking like something. And Cooper tinted the window. So you can see that one to that one. He'll get the rest of the windows done and we'll wash them all up, clean them. They're gonna look good. No shortage of work, shortage on time. We're gonna get this done though. We haven't been filming a ton because we're under the gun. We're going for it. My camera guy, I've been putting him to work. But progress has been made. Check this out. This is, uh, this is a spare tire. That's a 40 inch tire. This swings right out of our way. Pretty dang snazzy. Put them down. Just for fun. You want to go climb in, Tom? See what you can see out the back window. Yep. Sorry, your stage job got blown out. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got good. You can see? Yeah. Perfect, that's all we need. I'll finish weld this thing, build the latch, then the functionality part's done, then I go on to camper special mode. I'm gonna make a table that's as big as that tire that folds down on a piano hinge off of this so that you can put food and stuff on it right there. But we're under the gun. All right, we're continuing on here. Shovel mount's going in. I'm gonna tack it real quick, then we're gonna shut this and make sure it doesn't hit the doors, windows, all those things. The ax mount was engineered early on, just slides down in. We're getting there, then onto the table, the mount, paint. All right, we're gonna give this a test whirl. I don't see anything wrong with that. Looks good, nothing's hitting. What's the approach? I mean, it's gonna have to be pretty special to hit the spare tire. Well, I've got concerns. They're not legitimate. We're good. We're good to go. Things are happening. Paul's building the table. Table's going together. We'll have it within the hour. It'll be hooked on there and functional, I think. Tom, he's measuring out how we need to trim this panel here for our amps, wiring, stuff like that. We got one more window. I'm sure we'll tint these ones too, but I don't know if it shows up on camera, but they're also, that's from welding, it's all pity. But, should turn out. What do you think, Tom? She'll be met. It ain't got a choice. Okay, so Paul's off doing his civic duty and coaching local basketball team. He left me a Cooper here. Coop's uh We're trying to get this window tinted. He's on tent. He's pretty dang good at it too. We're working on getting the frame built for the 
Overlander stuff. Time's ticking away. We're running out of time. We are on it though. I like it. What do you think, Dora? Looks pretty classy. You okay there? No, I don't know. <laughs> At this rate of the day, I got no idea. I have no clue if I'm gonna gonna hit it or not. Got it. Got it. That's built. Let's see it up there. I gotta drill a hole in it. And then I'll put a wing nut on it, and then it's done. So let me go get a drill bit. I'll give your drill back to you. It's your thing. We'll be good to go. Grip. All right, I've had enough. It's midnight. Thursday night. We leave on Saturday. Got one more day of this. We'll see if we can get it done. Handyman's mounted. It's there. Pretty happy with spare tire. It's mounted. Dealt with. Built the wedge. Built everything. It works. I gotta tear it all off tomorrow. Paint it. Put a seal and a grease circ in this. And then I believe we can put a license plate on it. And we're that much closer. So one more day of this. And we're out of here. All right. Today is it. Whatever we get finished today, that's where this thing's gonna be when it hits SEMA. So I'm finished welding the tabs on the back of this box. Tom got it pretty much put together. I'm gonna put tabs on it. Then JD's gonna come and grab it. And he is going to skin it, put drawers in it for me. Then I'm gonna build the slide part that goes on the top. So no shortage of work. Chad made it here. He's up there wiring, finishing that kind of stuff. There he Wait, is. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find stuff. So <laughs> fixing some stuff that I didn't get taken care of when it was at my place. So get a couple of these things wrapped up. She's looking good. She's getting there. So got these tabs. Right down. A little Building piece. some thicker police for the middle. And we got this thing. Then it's JD's problem at that point. Bam. We're shipping it to JD. Shipping it off to a carpenter to put some wood on it. I'll build this other slide. So let me walk you through what's gonna happen here. We've got these four foot drawer slides. So we're gonna build two drawers in here that will slide out almost four feet. And then we're gonna put, I'll take you out here and show you what we got. So we've got this brand new, new to us, slide that uh yeah. smart. Yeah. slide maybe maybe we gotta do smart too evidently well, you get the point this is gonna <laughs> weld on over there well, well actually you're back. gonna put some plywood yeah we gotta put some new boards on this so this here slide goes let's go I need to make some, make sure this will bolt down in here. That's gonna go on something like that. Then this whole thing will slide out. We'll be able to cook on top of it, slide it back in, set up, tear down, and we're on the trail. So we just gotta make that happen today because we leave in the morning. All right, Chad loves life. So he's putting seat belts in this thing. Safety. Safety. Just you so know. my wife doesn't kill me. That's right. Mostly so we don't get all the comments from you guys. Be like, why don't you wear your seatbelts? Well, because we ain't got none. <laughs> but we're going to have them. So if you see us without the seatbelts on in here, you feel free to comment and tell us that we're idiots, that we should have been wearing them. You're going to anyways. I've got this trimmed down. We've cut, well, I cut this much off. I shortened it that much. Now it fits where it needs to fit. Now I'm gonna channel my inner carpenter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this piece of, I don't even know what this board's called, but it was free to me because someone didn't need it and they gave it to us. So we're gonna cut that down, fold it on the top of there, and then pray that JD gets the rest of my other thing built that he said he was gonna get done. And we're going overland. All right, we're running out of day. It's like two o'clock. I've got the slide built. She is on. 
good to go. Uh, spare tires back on it. Chad's got seat belts in it. He is currently working on wipers because you never know. I mean, he got wet last time he drove this thing, as you'll see in his video. <laughs> Looks like we got some water leaks. Yeah, it's dripping like right at the top of my boot. My pant leg's completely soaked. <laughs> yeah, it's leaking really bad in here. My pant leg and my foot are just completely soaked. Yeah, he got a little soaked, so we're gonna, we're still gonna get wet, but we'll be able to see where we're going. The wipers aren't gonna solve the running in the floor problem, but we'll get to that. All right, we are to the overlanding portion of this. Got my grill setting up on here. Gonna get mounted right there somewhere. Going through the cookware. I'm uh, polishing on a pan right now. Saving me a whole bunch of work and effort. I'll polish that thing up so stuff doesn't stick in it. And uh, with any luck, within the hour, JD will be here with the back. We'll get it put together. We'll get some propane, fire this up, season all of our pans. And then I think we're uh, race ready. Chad's getting windshield wipers dealt with. He's got them figured out, so close. We have got stuff going on. The man of the hour, JD, has shown up. Check these out. He sure is noisy, but I hey, like it. Hey. I like it. Do my best these are gonna keep noise. all of our stuff organized yeah, I think we'll and it. hopefully fairly dust free i think and a lot of scrap basically to build this other than the drawer slides they're not scrap but everything else it's pieces right well i had to buy the plywood on the top roughly not a lot of dollars into what we have here all right box is in i like it get the drawer slides oh man that they roll completely out so you can get to everything in your rig. You've outdone yourself, JD. I forgive right. you for all the bad stuff of being a bad neighbor. All the things that I've said have been <laughs> done bad, okay. Just kidding, I got the best wow. neighbors in the world. So, this is good. All right, we're running out of willpower. It's getting late, but look at that. Camp of stuff is all going in. Slide works, comes out, so. I think we just might make this happen. So we're getting there. All right, we've had all we're gonna take for the night. We're gonna sleep for a bit, load in this thing, head for Tucson. So stay tuned for new videos, but that's all for tonight. So thanks for watching.